Hello guys and welcome in this early morning for me to Wellness in the Multiverse. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what is different for everyone and what is the what are the ideas that are general and kind of the same in a way. And I'll explain what I mean. The thing is I do lives about every Tuesdays and Thursday. I get on live with a bunch of people and we chat about fitness, superheroes, a bunch of stuff. It's, it's fun, you should be here, there, I mean. But the thing is, I get specific questions from people I don't know. And that's, that's, what is, that's what's difficult about fitness. And through doing this and, and answering those questions to, to people and, and also in my DMs as well, because I do get questions in my DMs too. When I get those types of specific questions, it's very hard for me to give a, an answer. For example, let's say you are my height, 5'11", 185, you've been working out um, and you just want to know how many calories do I need to eat in order to gain weight? Well, if I know all these details, you're 5'11", you've been working out, you're 185, and you tell me I work out about six days a week and I walk a lot. I'm taking my personal situation. I can tell you like, yeah, you know, probably about 3,200 calories would give you enough nutrients to be able to gain about a pound a week. But let's say I have a zero details. I don't know who you are. I don't know your specific question. And this is why I do coaching. And this is why I have clients with whom I take a lot of time to talk about their specific situation. This is how much you expend in a day. This is how many calories you eat in a day. And this is how we bridge a gap into how if you want to lose weight or if you want to gain muscle and all and all of that, right? But if I get a question of how many calories do I need? I'm like, whoa, let's let's chill. Let's let's breathe a minute. I need more information than this. Uh, how many calories, you know, do you currently eat? What's your height? What do you do? What have you tried? How do you eat? When do you eat? Or should I eat before or after the workout? Again, very broad. We need things that are more specific. Now let's go into what is, because you know, I, I can go all these with this, these type of questions. I have like a, probably like a thousands of them in, in that people ask me about, like what do I need to do for X result, whatever. And again, it's gonna be a generic question of me saying like, well, it depends. And I know people hate those answers of, well, it depends, but it does. So let's go into more of a, what is the same for everyone? Let's say you're five two or you're six foot seven. What, what's the same for everyone? The thing is, in order to lose weight, and by the way, just before I say that, because it's a question I get a lot, you cannot spot reduce. You don't ask me, how can I lose weight in my, like fat in my face or I can I lose fat in my belly? There's, sorry, doesn't exist. You cannot spot reduce. What You can only have a deficit in calories and lose weight and your body will decide where that weight is coming from. Now that this is out of the way, let's look at what's the same for everyone. So in order to lose weight, let's say you're five, six and um, you're overweight and you're bored of it of that situation. You're like, what do I do? And you want to ask me a very broad answer of how many calories do I need to eat? I'm like, oh, I have no idea. I don't know who you are. Well, let's figure out how you can find it. First, you have access to, fun fact, a guide on my um, bio in my Instagram. There's, and also in the description of the video, you can download a guide, it's free. It's going to tell you how to, to do that. But you need, you need to calculate how many calories you burn in a, in a week, like every given week. Do that for a week, not like single day, because then you're going to like, oh, but what, what if I work out? What if I don't? You know, a week. Let's figure out a week. So you're five, six, you want to lose weight. You're just like, okay, so I'm five, six. There's apps for that. Like my fitness pal will gladly do it for you. And it's, Free, always free, 
and it's very easy. All you have to do is set it up. So you set up MyFitnessPal, you fire it up, and when, when you're in there, all you have to tell it is your height, your weight, what you do. See what I mean by specificity? That's what I mean. I mean, the app will ask you those questions that I don't have to answer, that I don't know about, but you do know about that. So you're 5'6", you want to lose weight, and you'll be like, well, I don't really move. My job, I'm always seated. I don't do nothing, nah, you know. Um, and I don't like to work out. I don't want to work out. I just want to lose weight with calorie deficit. Well, first of all, good luck. But, you know, it's not impossible. It's just much harder. Once you have that figured out, the app will just tell you, here's how many calories you need. You're like, great. Now you have the amount of calories. One other thing past that, that we know that we need for pretty much everyone. Point eight, well, actually everyone. 0.8 grams of protein to one grams of protein per pound of body weight. Easy, breezy, beautiful color girl. So very simple, that's what you need. I'm 185-ish pound, depending on you know the, the waves of the week and the days. So I eat about 185 grams of protein a day. Simple as that. And the rest kind of falls by itself under carbs and fat. So another general thing, carbs aren't the enemy. Fat is not the enemy. You need all of it. You need both of them. They are sources of energy. You need carbs and you need fat. So you can do keto. I don't care. You do you. I hate it. I don't do it. It doesn't give me any energy to do anything. So, so carbs aren't the enemy. Fat is not the enemy. What is, though, is trans fat and sugar. Those things you try to stay clear of. You know, you want to limit the amount of sugar you have. Also, don't drink your calories. That's a generality. But you want to limit the amount of sugar you have. You have good complex carbs. If you don't know what they are, download the guide. It's in there. Or ask the internet. It's going to tell you that too. So complex carbs, good sources of fat, and then you want to focus on the amount of protein you have. In the umbrella of the amount of calories you have for any given day to account for your energy expenditure in a week. You're five, six, you want to lose weight, uh, and you don't want to move, most likely it's going to be around 1,400 calories, which is way too low, and that's why you need to move. So we're not going to get into this, but yeah, there's a reason for it. So you just need a deficit in calories. Same applies for if you want to gain weight. Uh, sorry, my nose is itchy. Uh, same applies if you want to gain weight. If you want to gain weight, you want to be in a calorie surplus. Again, you're 5'8", you don't want to, well, don't try to gain weight if you're not active. I hope it's a given. So in this case, you're 5'8", and you're moving. You're working out three, four times a week. So then you're going to have your energy expenditure for any given day that you're, you know, that you need if you weren't working out. Let's say, well, 5A, whatever, you're probably around 2,300 calories, something like this. And then you need to add to that either 200 calories, 250 to get about 0.5 pound a week, or if you want to go much faster than this, you can go up to 500 calories a day to about 2,800 calories. Once you're there, you, st you stick to it. So those are kind of generalities in, in terms of food. Same applies for the workouts, but the workouts are a bit different because it's, it's very hard to screw up a workout. I mean, you can, you can, it's in, in the fact that if you don't give enough intensity and all of that, uh, but at the end of the day, if you're moving into your lifting weights, you know, there's something that's going to happen. There's ways to optimize it and make it faster and, and all of this. So generality, if you're working out once a week, well, if you're working out once a week, please go more than this, please. Uh, but if you do full body workouts twice a week, same thing, full body workouts. You just want to hit everything every time you're going easy breezy. Then if you move to three, four times a week, there's those upper lower body that you can do. So um, 
so upper, you know, on Monday, lower, upper, if it's three, and then another lower if it's four. But then if you go to four and up, you can move to three different types of workout because you're, you're going to get bored of upper, lower, upper, uh, and it's going to get very hard on your body. So you want to move into a more of a push, pull, leg type of situation where you're you're target, targeting everything in a week. So you do push, pull, leg, push. If you go more than that, you just repeat the process and you do that for about three to four weeks and then you go again. So, I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff in there. Follow me on Instagram. I'm, I, I, I say most of generality. Um, I don't exact, I mean, we're not snowflakes too. Don't, don't get confused there. There's a bunch of things that are the same for you as they are for me and those are the things you can focus on i mean what's the general idea move calories macros sleep stress water rinse and repeat over and over and over again you know and then you'll succeed that simple all that to say if you have too many specific questions you can ask them, and I don't mean just to me, you know, I'm pretty sure you're following other people online and you, you, you ask them too, and that's fine. But if you are to ask people for, for questions about, well, fitness and nutrition and all of that, at least give some specifics, at least give some like, look, I do X amount of activity in a week um, and I'm about that height and I'm that weight and I'm fit or not or whatever and I move a lot or I don't and I, wanna, I want X result about you know, that time. Is it realistic? Can I do it? How many calories do I need? But to be more specific than this, well, you'll have to hire me as a coach. So I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's kind of a gate, uh, unfortunately. So I'm trying to give as much as possible information out there but there's still a limit to what i can do in terms of for each individuals um nonetheless you know thanks for being here download the guys i did a new page for it uh very simple they are all on the same page you can download them all at the same time very simple like the, the superhero arm guide superman chest uh and the new one too well now i'm saying that I don't know. Maybe the new one. Maybe the new one. So, yeah. Have a good day. Share it, like it, comment it. Follow me. Who knows? Maybe I'm fun. Have a good day, and um, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to know more about how I can help you make fitness a sustainable lifestyle, you can reach out to me on any social media platform at Joe Gangi Trainer. Thanks again. Till next time.